Hello everybody. Now then, I've just discovered a feature of the spline tool that I didn't know about, which would be useful in the modelling of the wing profile for the Spitfire wing. And it's this. We have selected the spline there. And now we can go ahead and with this snap, I'll make sure the snap is off. We can start at this point here and then go around as we did before. Getting closer together as we as the curve tightens. And making sure that this bit here is turns out to be near enough vertical at the nose we carry on and as it flattens out we can go further apart now as I said before when you close it it, it closes in a smooth curve we want uh, a sharp corner here and I put a, a straight piece in to make that sharp corner but I found out that if you close it like that then escape key to come out of it and then just select tool select the spline you've made and then we've got these handles here we can manipulate now where you closed it there's a it can manipulate around that point there where you've closed the spline curve so if you grab that handle and then move this so that the handle more or less touches the spline curve and do the same with that one click you've got a sharp curve you've got a sharp point so you don't need that straight line Handy little feature to know about. One point though, if you if you're a bit too uh, zealous about it, you now have to move, say, one of these points to get it back on the line. There. Right, there you go. So I think that's better. But I like the idea of just having one spline rather than hacking it about with a straight line. So anyway, I think that's a, a good thing to know about. Hope you might find that useful. Please subscribe. The more you watch my movies, the more I get paid. Bye.